Good morning and welcome to our Thursday morning, our Thursday morning devotional here at Mount Gilead. My name is Rob Thompson and I am the Adult Discipleship Minister and uh, we are just pleased that you are getting your day started with us or perhaps you're watching this a little bit later um, on your, uh, during your Bible study time. Today I would like to just share uh, just briefly about uh, ourselves our self-esteem and how uh, we see ourselves, our perception uh, in Jesus, how it's, it's crucial uh, to view uh, even ourselves and our, our concept, our, self, uh, our self-concept, our own self-evaluations and uh, develop self-esteem based on being a child of God and uh, being Jesus-centered. And so let's look to, if you have your Bibles, please uh, join me as we look to Psalm 8. And this is a Psalm of David. And join me now as we, as we read 1 through 4, verses 1 through 4. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, what is man that you are mindful of him? The son of man that you care for him. So that was verses 1 through 4. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, David says, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, that you care for him? We we see here that King David is is amazed at at how God would take time to think of us, to be mindful of us, and to care for us. As we read... Uh, two in John chapter three, you know, we all know for God so loved the world. Um, we are his world. We. David was was confused, maybe. He was perplexed that God, the, the creator of the universe, admires us so much that he takes time to care for us. And so this this really should motivate us to seek and understand our creator and Lord, to discover how, how we fit into his design, his creative design. We can discover the, the significance of who we are in Jesus, which will then reflect in our self-esteem and our perceptions of Jesus and our self and others, others that we, we, we reach out to. And so I had a couple uh, questions here that came to mind and that I would like to encourage you to reflect on um, today regarding this scripture and these thoughts of our esteem. So, have you ever considered your self-esteem? I'm sure, I'm sure you have, as, as I have. Um, so, let's reflect on our view of self, of how your self-esteem was shaped, and how your perceptions play a role in your developed self-esteem. But rather than just exploring this with our, you know, we have a tendency to be self-centered. I, you know, I've, I've had that issue in my past. And, and uh, so we, uh, rather than exploring it from a self-centered approach, um, let's explore it through a Jesus-centered approach. Let's approach our view of self, our perceptions of self in light of scripture, in light of how we know God has a creative design and even before we were born, before we were created, God had a plan for us. And no matter what age we are, we can continue to vibrantly live for Jesus and achieve what he has for us. So number two, let's reflect So reflect on how you see yourself in this world compared to God's view 
and how he sees you, that's important. So how important are you to God, to Jesus, your Lord and Savior? And how, consider how the Lord wants to empower you to live as a disciple, the disciple that he created you to be, and then how you can disciple others. So those are just some uh, reflections uh, for you to consider. And oftentimes in this world, you know, we live in, and what I have coined uh, as the, the the selfie, having a selfie ment mentality. And uh, this really um, can carry us away. It can absorb us if we're not, if we're not careful. So I encourage you to, uh, let's approach each day being Jesus-centered and seeking his will. And, uh, and I think that as a result, we will start to experience uh, higher levels of confidence, self-confidence, self-efficacy, and self-esteem if we're living according uh, to Jesus, to God's design. Let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for uh, the ability for technology where we can come together like this and, and just look into your word, share some thoughts, some scripture, and uh, just ha ask you to help us to apply uh, this, these thoughts, these, this scripture, help us to apply it to our lives so that we can become the disciples that you created us to be, whether we're 11 years old, 30 years old, or 90 years old. We can continue to be the disciple that you created us to be and to help disciple others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, great. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you again on Saturday morning for another devotional.